Faced with the first U.S. combat death in Iraq in four years today, Pentagon Secretary Ash Carter made clear that U.S. troops will continue to face danger there. The administration has, has taken great pains, the president in various permutations, to say it's not a ground combat, it's not a major combat role. They will be in harm's way, there's no question about it, and I don't want anybody to be under any illusions uh, about that. A U.S. military official confirms to CNN that Master Sergeant Joshua L. Wheeler, 39, of Roland, Oklahoma, a 20-year military veteran, was a member of the elite Delta Force. The deadly battle was the first time U.S. forces have directly engaged ISIS fighters on the ground in Iraq. In a joint operation with Kurdish commandos, U.S. special operators from the Delta Force raided an ISIS compound to rescue hostages thought to be in imminent danger of execution. U.S. warplanes bombed makeshift ISIS training camps, staging sites, and bridges in the area. And five helicopters brought in nearly 30 U.S. Special Forces and 40 Kurdish troops. The U.S. forces were not meant to enter the walled compound or directly engage the ISIS fighters. But when Kurdish forces inside the compound were overwhelmed, the U.S. commander made the decision to enter the firefight. Master Sergeant Wheeler was shot inside the compound and died later after being transported to a military hospital in Erbil. When the mission was over, the U.S. aircraft overhead destroyed the compound. U.S. troops are deployed to Iraq on a train, advise, and assist mission. Good. However, under current rules of engagement, they are allowed to return fire when they or their partner forces come under attack.